This simple productivity system bought me a house at just 24. You see, the problem with most systems is that they're so damn complicated. You have habit trackers, Notion, colored Google calendars, even Excel spreadsheets. I've tried them all, and I finally found one that allowed me to be so productive that it bought me a house. Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein, and Henry Ford. They didn't have Notion or an Excel spreadsheet or a habit tracker, yet they were arguably the greatest pioneers of their generation. You see, I have studied and watched hundreds of productivity videos. I mean hundreds. I've tried Notion, I've tried Excel, I've even tried putting my phone on Do Not Disturb and none of them worked for me. It was only when an old boss of mine sat me down and told me, if you focus on the right behaviours, the right outcomes will follow. That's when it dawned on me. Being productive isn't having loads of things on a to-do list and ticking it off one by one, but it's actually getting those two to three most important tasks done a day. The system I implemented when I started my second sales job is the reason I became the productivity savage that I am today. It's the reason I was able to buy a house aged just 24. This trick I learned directly resulted in me getting more work done and more money in my pocket at the end of the day. It improved all aspects of my life. Yet so many of my friends were making the same mistakes every single day until they implemented this system that I'm about to show you. Now they're productivity savages. Pyramids. No, not the ones the aliens built. This is not your standard pyramid. It's rather an upside down pyramid. On the top of the pyramid, you focus on the highest ROI activity and you make your way down. That's it. There's nothing complicated about it. You don't need an app. You don't need a spreadsheet. Hell, you don't need Notion or anything. All you need is a pen and paper. So I used to sit down, set a timer or an outcome at the top. So for instance, book two sales meetings today. I'd book the two sales meetings and then work my way down the list. Determining what is the highest ROI activity is often one of the harder things to do. As an entrepreneur now, I've become even more prudent with my time. Between my part-time job and hype fuels, what determines ROI can change on a daily basis. I have boiled down how to structure the pyramid into three main questions. Question one, how far is the payoff for this activity? Can I expect results in a short term frame or can I expect them in a longer time frame? Question two, how many customers will this generate for hype fuel? Question three, how long will it take me? The chances are, if it's a high yielding ROI activity, the likelihood is, is it? It's gonna take a long time to do. Using these three questions, I then determine where a task sits on the pyramid. For example, if I was to make a social media post for my Instagram for hype fuels, I then rattle down the three, the three questions. How far is the payoff for this activity? Well, the payoff is twofold. Number one, I get content from my social media. Number two, if someone visits my page, my page looks more, my content looks fuller on the page. Question two, how many customers will it get me? Depending on the virality of the post, it may get me a thousand eyeballs on the business or it may get me 20,000 eyeballs on the business. It completely depends. Question three, how long will it actually take me? Well, a social media post, depending on it, if it's a, a short form video, it may take me half a day to film. If it's a static post, that may take me 20 minutes to edit. Depending on which one I'm doing is likely gonna determine what's the highest ROI activity. For instance, right now on Instagram, reels are trending and static posts aren't anymore. Doing this productivity method is really good. However, you often fall into a trap. Even though doing this one important task is vital for you progressing with your goals and being super productive for that day, if you don't adhere to this next law, your productivity goals and ambitions will be a complete pipe dream. Parkinson's law. The law states that the duration of your work will either expand or contract to the length of time that you've allotted to it, regardless of the size or quantity of the work. To stop this from happening, we go back to our pyramid and we allocate times or targets to hit. Then we use the Pomodoro technique that I mentioned in my last video to rattle through those tasks. So sit down, set a timer and get on with it. Doing this coupled with my process of doing hard work was what enabled me to buy a house aged just 24. If you wanna learn what my process is for doing hard work, click here, click here.